Anything you can do with just quantities and prices has the great advantage that the world constantly measures those things for you. Why does the world measure them? Right, we need a minute here. Right? When you go out to the world, what's the easiest data to find? Yes? Prices? No. Well, I, may I take that back? Yes. <laughs> but if you want to know, let, let me put them on a board. Price, three concepts. P, Q, P times Q, okay? All right? Those are the three concepts you have in economics, right? This is called price, this is called quantity, this is called expenditure, right? Everybody understands the difference? Please try to remember the difference because people sometimes mess up and talk about one when they think they're talking about another. There are different. Price, quantity, Expenditure. All right. Counting is about this number, right? Counting is about expenditure. When you look at accounting, that's what accountants do. Accountants generally don't divide things up into prices and quantities. Right? They look at revenues, they look at costs, they look at all those things. They're all P times Q. So a lot of the data you're going to find comes looking like this. Okay? P's are a little bit easier to measure generally than Q's. Why? Yeah. You can go to the store and, and just look at all the P's that are posted. Yeah, you can see the P's, right? You don't, you don't have to see. You know, this requires like a census, right? You have to go out and measure all the quantities. Here, if you really have a market, you can just measure the price once. You want to know the price of 100 items? Go down to Jewel and walk through the store. You'll find the price of thousands of items in a few minutes. Just walk around the store, write them down. You want to know quantities? It's tougher. Get the Jewel accounting books? You can get this. Right? So generally what we're doing in economics is we're gathering these data from accountants. We're gathering these data from looking around the world around us and often inferring Q from these, right? That's usually the most common way to go. Counting records give us expenditures. Looking at the world around us, we measure prices. We then measure quantity by dividing expenditure by price. That's the way, we, that's the way most data would be gathered. That's not universally true. Sometimes we get directly to the quantities. Okay. Any questions that people have? Yeah. Well, I agree that it's pretty easy to back up quantities uh, from accounting data and the prices for a firm that sells one good, like a company that just produces crude oil. But if, if there's a company that's selling a bunch of goods, like a grocery store, if, if the, unless the accounts are like sufficiently refined that they have like well, revenue. Be careful though. Be cetera. careful. What would you want to divide by? You want to build a price index. Mm. Okay. And divide by the price index. So if you're just interested in a food price index, that yeah, that's that's what we we're going to do. Okay. That's what we're going to back out a quantity index by dividing expenditure by a price index. That's going to be we got to stop. But